before he acts, the Lord will come. God is close to the upright. God said to Solomon, if you can be upright like your father, he's a man of integrity. He's a man faithful to all his ways. You see, your father is an upright man. He said, if you follow his text, I will establish your throne forever. Your throne, nothing will remove it from Masada. What is the difference, Brad Gibson? What is the difference between righteousness and uprightness? Can someone walk upright in this generation? Help 
me look for three people, point at them, point at them, and just ask them, are you sure someone can walk upright in this generation? I began to try to walk it. I wanted to see, Lord, is it possible? Lord, can someone walk up there? And as I was meditating over my message, I see myself with Lord, can this be possible? And what I had in my spirit was, your generation is not the first. In every generation, despite the wickedness, I found a man who walked up there. And God said, in the days of Noah, in the midst of evil, even when I asked him to build the boat, for 40 years he was building it. And he was telling the people coming, for their way we seem to destroy. And the people were filled with sin. But in the midst of that sin, I found a perfect man in Noah. And I said, Noah was perfect in all that. So in the midst of wickedness, you are the perfect man. When the evil feel everywhere, God saw a Job in Job chapter 1. And God himself introduced Job to Satan. <laughs> God called the attention of Satan. Have you seen my servant Job? The story of Job opened my eyes to know that you can be rich and still be holy. You didn't hear me. Did you hear what I said? The story of Job made me understand that you are rich. Yes, that you see, this is why I don't want you to reach this person. It can make me miss heaven. Now go back to God, make you go to heaven. Am I talking to somebody? It is not all about being poor or rich. No. It's about being able to be disciplined, making a conscious effort to live up right with the grace of God. But can anybody live up right? Yes. Can God find anyone who will refuse to compromise in this generation? Yes! God testified that Job was indeed a perfect man. God testified in Job 1 1, Job 1 8, Job 2 3. God repeated again and again and again. Job is a perfect man. Can anybody live a perfect life? Yes. Can you walk in the company without compromising? Yes. Let's change the philosophy that we are like fish inside the water. No, sir. You can decide to be different tonight. I thank God for all the prophetic declaration upon your head. But I know this is last week. And I kept praying to God in my private prayers. Praying that God, that you will speak to us ways that will keep living in our spirit throughout this week. And it will go find our life all throughout this year. That our encounter will not just end in our 21 days. We go back to our share. That the fire of God's revival, fire of God's hunger, fire to live the right way, that it will a true Christian is not when we gather in the church. Let me look at your neighbor and say, A true Christian is not when we gather in the church. In short, mommy, can I see your Bible? Can I see your Bible? Let me see your Bible. Where is your Bible? Can I see your Bible? Oh, yeah, put it where you used to put it when you are coming to church. Hmm? Look at your neighbor say, that is not Christianity. Every shepherd said, that is not Christianity. Let me have you a big Bible you put it here. 
Look at them and say, that is not Christianity. Put it like this. In case if you don't forget, if you forget this message, I know you can remember this. Put it like this. Carry up for her. Say that. When did they build this church? In the days when Father Wood was still here. Now we get the foundation with her.
not you have our people. But now we should have many people. Israel, Israel, that are Catholics and are devoted. And they look at me and say, Gibson, I won't do it. I said, Daddy, no. Daddy, you can do it. You can do it. And they look at me and say, Gibson, I said, sir. He said, I won't do it. And he said, I can't. I cannot do it, but I will not do it. I said, Daddy, no. You can. And the wife said, Gibson, come. I came and he said to me, Daddy took three, three people. He counted as his own sons in the church. He took them. They didn't want to do. He said, He put them. We are not the past in trust. He said, after two years, they compromised. And when they brought that message to him, he stood his ground and said, no. They are communicants. They are devoted. They can't do that. He was speaking for them. When they put them in cell, tortured them, he was shot. They brought him as a list of the He never believed. But what saved him? He said, For 15 years, you have worked in this pandemic. You have never received query from Jesus. If not, if not, what would have happened? Maybe he would have lost his life. But what saved him was his integrity. His upright in the job. He has never got a query for what he was receiving the news. He would have lost it in the process of doing good. From that day, he said, let everybody come in the normal way. Two, three people went and shut the door. For thousands that will have entered with the people of God. You know, when you see, oh God, have mercy on us. I know, in the only family is not a place to be. Mommy, you can drop your bag here and go to offering, and nobody will have mercy. Why are you acting this way? As a holy family, it's a holy place. So you can drop your back there, come and be offering and go back. Come to you. Who will steal it? Who will take it? The person that will take it is not a member. I was in St. Joseph County Church in the Jamuli Cathedral. And we all went to pray. After praying from 12 to 4 30, when we do all three, two people came back. And they are back in front of the and the question I asked myself which one is God? Where is the fear of God? I remember some years in my former parish of St. Sabina, somebody went to the church order and removed the clothes. Where is the fear of God? Do they need to tell somebody that you are already caused by doing this? There is a fear of God. There is a fear of God. There is a fear of God. When they capture the person, the Lord did not give that to them. There is a fear of God. I want to close this. Eli was a great man. 
But his legacy never lasts long. He was a great man of God. And he failed woefully as a father. Am I talking to somebody? He was a great man, so devoted to your way. But he failed as a father. Even when the children will be defiling the altar of God. This is where we are not doing it. He's not good, no. Me and I talk to my own, no. That thing is on now, God, no. Now he's not to pay for God on the earth. Me and I talk to my own, no. And God said, Eli, never stand his feet strong for me, and his children will find my temple. And when my calamity will come, it will come upon his household, and it will come upon let no man deceive me and you that your righteousness will be the last thing to judge your children's righteousness. Let no man deceive me. Someone was a great prophet and he failed as a father. As you are standing here. Someone was a mighty prophet. But when God will choose, he never chooses any of his son. He failed woefully as a father. I'm a leader in this society, in that society. This life, this Bible, this church, this daughter, this, this, this person, they call you as a Baptist, they call you call me as a leader, they call you as a CMO, whatever they call me and call you. Can you boldly say that you are alive? Can be found in your soul. Everybody is doing it. 
everyone is doing what they are doing. What it is, it has entered every part. From school to house, it has even crippled and it entered into the church of God. What it is. If my own person is a leader, I work hard. If he's not a leader, I will not support his leadership. What is number two is the spirit of compromise trying to do it like them. Number three, as we pray, is problems of life. And today, problems of life have moved many people away from God. And the last one that moved many people more away from God than all these three is the blessings of God. What did I call it? Blessings of God. Compromise, godliness, problems of life. No one has taken the children of God away from God like the blessings of God. Solomon, the problem of God with Solomon was God's generosity. When Solomon had nothing, even when God said, I give you like plain check, Solomon said, Give me wisdom to do your people. God said, I will give you more than wisdom. I give you riches. I give you faith. I give you power. I give you everything. God's generosity was a biggest error. Solomon took all the people, took all the money, and began to marry wives. God's generosity. What of Jacob? Jacob was going to die because his mother was looking for him. He was coming away. He met God, he met her. He met her. He told her, if you prosper me, I will come back here and bring the house for you. When God prospered him, instead of going to make it, he went to check him. We are being for his heart. We to be the problem. Generosity of God. In my church, there was a woman that was looking for time. About 12 years. Now she gave the money to God. Those years, she was looking for time. Every day in the past, you will see her intention. It became a permanent intention. Once you want to raise her intention, you will see. God gave her twins, two boys. That was how God lost her. Recently, I just turned her and said, Ah, sister, we're going to see you again. Say, but I keep saying, but I keep saying, This is my two children, they are stubborn, James and John. They are stubborn. I have nobody with me. Now, where they get another one, John? No, you run in the money, go to the collector. And then, you know, take those children, hey, hey, they are so stubborn. They don't stay one place. I look at her and I say, God was right. All these years, you didn't have James and John. God had you. When he gave you James and John, he lost you. Some people, God has given them contract and lose them. God has given them the office and lost them. Make them director of company. That was the end of the gospel. And they tell you, my heart is with you people. Anytime you need money, just call me, I will support. My heart is here. Only my physical person is not alone. Let's stop here. Can we wave our hands and thank them? Let's thank you for everything. Lord, the status, the status you gave me, will not turn me to a statue in your house. The status you gave me, will not turn me to a statue in your house. We all have our weakness tonight. But God is merciful and compassionate to forgive all our sins and give us grace to live a brand new life. Everybody lift up their hand and say to him, Do something new. Something new.
What is your resolution? I start right now. Lord, I start right now. Count me in. I go home now and start with my life. I start with my life. I start in my office. I start in my home. I start anywhere. I want to be honest, sincere. Just make that resolution. This is the only prayer we have for tonight. My time has expired. Thank you. Start your feet, begin to take it. I don't want to ask you. Lay in my spirit. Lift up your hand. Thank you for protecting me. Thank you. Give him love. Give him honor. Give him adoration. Open your heart and take it. Please take it. 